What's going on guys and FC25 is going to be coming out very very soon. It is four days for me on September 20th. It will be coming out and a lot of you guys are going to have your pre-order FIFA points. And that's what this video is going to be about. As you can see, I'm already practicing for the new game because we're going to be using gold players. Obviously, my team's going to be a little bit pay to win on my main account to compete professionally. However, I will have an RTG at the start of the year so that you guys can have very similar teams to me as well. But anyways, if you guys want to maximize the usage of your FIFA points to try to get as close of a team as this as possible, this is what this video is about. Now, we want to make sure that we're using our FIFA points efficiently. So we get 4,600 FIFA points and usually people think, all right, first things first, we're going to go ahead and play the online draft. Now you can play it with 300 FIFA points. And although it is worth playing it, you shouldn't use your FIFA points right away. You're not going to have a team like you just saw my team earlier at the beginning of the game off of those 4,600 FIFA points. Now, the draft is definitely the best place to use your FIFA points. However, if you are not a top, top player, the draft is going to be very, very difficult. Now, why is that the case? I am going to be playing the draft 24 seven. All the other pro players or all the other competing players for FC Pro are going to be grinding the game out because literally a week and three days, the pro ladder begins. So everybody is going to need that super team as quickly as possible. So all of these players are going to be loading up hundreds of thousands of FIFA points and they're going to be spamming drafts constantly. So if you enter a draft and you're a casual player or you're a 15 wins player, you're probably not going to win the draft. And this is a big, big problem because if you're not winning the draft, the draft really isn't worth it. And honestly, you're just going to get the same packs for 300 FIFA points that you will end up seeing in the store. Another thing, this doesn't mean that you should open store packs. And the reason why is because you guys are used to just seeing all these 100,000 uh, coin packs, 4,000 FIFA point packs, 5,000 FIFA point packs. That's not how it's like at the beginning of the game. The beginning of the game, you're going to have these packs on your screen right now. And honestly, I can't even remember if the preview packs there at the beginning, but 150 FIFA points per pack. And honestly, these packs are terrible. If we, if we look at the pack probabilities and obviously they're special cards, so ignore all of that. It is an 82 plus percent uh, is the 31 percent chance of an 82 plus player. And that's with every single footies card, uh, special card and stuff in packs and it's only an 11 percent chance of an 84 plus with every card pretty much in packs right now and the best of batch i don't know which one it is there's like a hundred of them but there's a bunch of players in packs and it's still only 11 percent meaning the odds of you getting a very very good player from these packs are very very low and i think people forget this and they usually just blow all 4,600 fever points into these packs and i mean if we check for me my currency 4,600 FIFA points is like around $50. It's not quite the 2,800 one for 34, and it's not quite 5,900 for $67. That's expensive. And we want to make sure that we're using these FIFA points, especially if we don't buy FIFA points, which I 100% wouldn't recommend doing. As you guys can see, when I start my road to glory, you can build a really good team without spending money. And it actually isn't that that difficult as long as you follow the steps that we follow as well. But I'm not going to go rambling about that for now. And we're just going to talk about the FIFA points. Those FIFA points, you want to make sure that you utilize the most of them because and then that's how you can really get those big teams kind of like this, not to the extent of this. However, you can get those players like Neymar. I mean, Neymar is only an 87 next year, right? Hansen will be very, very expensive. Um, this Cancelo, I think he was like 300K at the beginning of the year. This would be a great car that you could get those like special promo cards. I think VVD was around like 300 as well. So if you can really maximize the amount of coins that you're getting at the beginning, you could potentially get one of these big name players like maybe Neymar, um, maybe even get like a Rudiger. And if you get lucky in some of those packs, or or whatever whatever method you choose to do um you can really get much better players and i mean rashford next year is gonna be an 81 he's gonna be a cheap beast 
right? You want to build those teams with these cheap beasts as quickly as possible at the beginning, qualify to your foot champs, your rivals, climb the divisions and get as many, many coins as possible because the beginning of the game is all about getting more packs for free, not spending FIFA points and not spending coins. I didn't even think I had to say that last part, but do not spend coins on packs, please. I'm begging you at this point. But to get the most efficiency out of your FIFA points, I think you just hold off. Don't open packs until maybe there's better packs in the store that you might want to open, like those promo packs. It won't take long for EA to open and, and release those promo packs for better FIFA points. However, I do think that if you are a above, like honestly, 14 wins player in foot champs, I recommend you use your FIFA points for the draft. However, wait until October 1st. October 1st, the first weekend league, I don't even think will be out yet. And if it is, it'll be the very, very first weekend league, which is fine. If you don't have the greatest team in the world on the first week of weekend league, it isn't the end of the world because you're playing the long game here, which isn't really that long. It's literally like two months not even two months but in two months you'll have a great team wait until october 1st because every pro at that point is going to be focusing on pro ladder this and, and qualifying for events and practice games that they're not going to be in drafts anymore drafts are going to have a lot more casuals drafts are going to have the people who got the game on september 27th all those people who didn't pre-order it i know they might not have pre-ordered it but a lot of them will start playing the game and then realize wait I don't have enough coins or I don't have enough FIFA points. Let me load up. Let me go into draft. Let me play this, right? They're going to be watching these videos and being like, oh, I should play draft. So you're going to have a lot more casual players playing the draft and it makes it much, much more worth it. I know at the beginning, everybody wants to rush, rush, rush at the beginning of the game, but you really just want to take it slow, right? There's no need to rush it, right? You don't have to compete. You don't have to compete in, in pro ladder. You don't have to build the, the greatest team in history, right? You can get some very good players at the beginning of the game without spending your FIFA points until either better packs come into the store. If you're not confident about playing in draft, literally the first promo will have promo packs. EA makes money off this stuff. They'll have promo packs. It's just the first week these packs are in the game and everybody spams it. Like I'll even open this pack right now. We didn't even get a special and every special is in the game. And I don't even know what rating. I don't know who this is, right? Glass, right? I got an 81. None of these players are gonna sell. We did get a Hunter, which I guess is a little bit lucky, but that's what, 5,000 coins. If I sell everything in this pack, I might make 7,000 coins. 7,000 coins doesn't even get you a gold Marcus Rashford at the beginning of the game. So it's really not worth it to open these unless you're literally opening a thousand of them, which I did last year. And it didn't really do too well with me. I still couldn't afford Mbappe. So do not open these packs at least wait for better packs to be in the game and at least wait for them to be promo cards because when promo cards are in packs it actually benefits you because there's more special things to get that actually upgrade and are better than golds that actually sell obviously the odds are gonna be very difficult but there will be promo packs and that'll at least make it easier i still think the number one thing is definitely to go into the draft mode however wait it is not like you don't need to go into it right away if you're gonna miss the first weekend league which again i don't know what day it would be but i'm pretty sure like pro ladders october 1st i'm pretty sure it wouldn't come out that weekend maybe it does come the first weekend of october but if it doesn't then definitely wait if it does then you can go into the draft just make sure that the people that are entering the game on the 27th those are the people you want to match you want to make sure that you're not matching these super sweaty pro players and and competitive players at the beginning of the game and then just blowing right through right if, if you just go in 300 FIFA points and you just blow through everything, you're going to lose all your FIFA points and you got nothing out of it, right? And that kind of defeats the whole purpose of you having those FIFA points, right? If you wait until the 27th, right, you can actually have, I just calculated it right here, you can have 15 entries into the draft and then you still have a few FIFA points left, right? 15 entries into the draft. If you can win even half of those, it makes it very, very worth it because you can actually get 50k packs from the draft 100k packs and one of the rewards actually gives you 45,000 coins um it's very rare but very very good and i mean if we check my draft record right um i lost five drafts apparently i remember like three of them were disconnects but either way right i i won uh i won i think what 17 drafts right and that was at the beginning of the game and those were using using my pre-order uh fifa points and a few more that i loaded up and i actually should have played more draft this year but all of those were the first week of fifa because i didn't touch draft after that really right i really didn't touch draft so 
as you can see, my record is insane in the draft and I probably lost to other people who were playing competitive or were playing in pro ladder, which is a waste of FIFA points in a way because we didn't maximize the output of those FIFA points. So that's what you really, really want to make sure you're maximizing. And if you decide to go the pack route, right, you if we calculate it right here, I mean, I've got my my calculator on my phone, right? Divide it by 150. That is 30. Uh, 7.5k packs and honestly that doesn't sound too appeasing right you guys just saw what i got right that's not too appealing i you guys saw my my pack it was horrible i got glass and, and maybe a hunter and like three other players right not really worth it and we opened that 30 times and maybe we get one walkout i think last year i i went the i i think i actually went like a full hundred packs without getting a walkout I think in total I got like seven walkouts out of a hundred thousand FIFA points. Now you could get more lucky than me because obviously it's still luck. However, this is kind of what your preview pack is going to look like, right? You don't want any of this kind of stuff. And honestly, I just think the best option is to wait, despite what some people say, especially market traders. Market traders are going to be telling you and convincing you, oh, open packs, play the draft right away, get as many coins, trade this, trade that. I don't think that's a good idea unless you actually know how to trade. If you don't actually know how to trade, I would really avoid doing that because it's not that easy to trade anymore, especially at the beginning of the game because the market is so erratic unless you know what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, you're basically just like trying to rush and have as many coins as possible and then don't utilize them for anything. Whereas if you just kind of wait a little bit more, you could get a lot more coins and a lot better stuff. So not really the best way to do it. But yeah, my best suggestion for you guys is depending on your skill level is I would just wait for there to be better packs. Like you don't have to use it right away. And like I said, a lot of it will be objective based. And if you guys even in this in this game right now, if you guys look into objectives, um, I haven't claimed a million things, but if you just look into uh, I think it's seasonal over here or no, it's milestones. Um, you can get, no, it's not even milestone. Sorry, it's seasonal. I think I already completed it. They might already be out of the game. Um, but there is just packs that you already probably got for the new game off of this game, which you will also get later in October. So you already have packs waiting for you as well. So if you just wait that little extra bit, you can have a really good team by the end of October and maybe suffer the first week or two, which is going to be very difficult anyways, because here's the thing, guys, you're going to have 4,600 FIFA points. But you're still going to play people. And it's not because they play draft with their 4,600 FIFA points. If you play people with a better team than you, it's because they went over here to this screen and they decided, you know what? $200, 18,500 FIFA points. Let me load up. And then they opened a bunch of packs. They didn't get anything, but they still got a bunch of coins, maybe 50 to 100K. All right, let me buy another one. Let me buy another two, right? Those are the people you're going to be playing against. And you're going to play against them anyways. So we got to think, right? We got to think long term. It's like, do I want to try to catch up and still have a way less team, like way worse team than them in the first week of FIFA or the first week in league? Or do I want to spend way less and not spend anything because we have the pre-order 4,600 FIFA point bonus and catch up to them by the end of October? So we got to play the long game. We got to play the smart game, especially if we're not spending money on the game. And like I said, we're going to have a road to glory. Our road to glory will actually have zero FIFA points. And I bet you that team is going to end up looking better than a lot of people who have that 4,600 FIFA points. And it's all just because they didn't spend it efficiently. But anyways, guys, if you guys have any questions, I mean, I'm always here. I'm, I mean, I stream on, on Twitch. I stream on YouTube as well. Um, feel free to ask me. Comment it down below if you got any questions on what you should do with your FIFA points. Um, any any other like confusing like topics i know we kind of just rambled for a little bit comment it down below and we'll we'll, we'll help you out I'll, i reply to all my comments and especially on stream ask me questions we're going to be grinding it we're actually doing a 24 hour stream on the release of the game so september 20th we're doing a 24 hour stream on twitch or youtube so make sure to tune into that and ask me questions i can review the gameplay for you guys and let you guys know how the game is and you'll also see me using my uh fifa points through drafts and also showing you why the draft is such a good option however if you're not as good of a player as me or you're not confident in your abilities definitely wait 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 until i stop playing the draft and then all those casuals will start playing it and then go nuts but anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video it's a different kind of video just kind of like commentary and, and trying to help you guys out a lot more gameplay tutorials and stuff is going to be coming out for fc 25 so make sure you hit the subscribe button like the video and let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see for fc 25 we're going to be uploading a video every single day very very exciting 
Um, but yeah, just let me know some ideas. Some ideas would be awesome, but I kind of have a little bit of ideas of kind of what we're going to do, especially at the beginning of the game. But let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.